IMPD is taking the next step in their fight against gun violence. A tool called the gunshot detection system is supposed to improve officer response times to shootings, but does it? WRTV's Adam Shooms is working to find out. Is that I'm just very cautious. If I could move, I would move in a heartbeat right now. Terry Martinez has called the east side of Indianapolis home for the last 20 years. We hear gunfire just about every night, though. That all too familiar sound became all too real one morning in late August. There was a dead body laying out in front of it. Terry says she woke up that morning to take her dog out for her morning walk and found a woman laying outside of her front door who died after she was shot. Memorial now in place of the woman's body. But it really impacted my life because I've never seen anything like that before. Never. The system is in place along a five square mile section. It includes the intersection of East 10th and North Rural Streets. Phase two of the program is now underway. IMPD is collecting data and taking a closer look at whether the system improves officer response times, among other things. We're analyzing the data that's coming in. All three systems are active in providing data. The area where IMPD is testing its gunshot detection system has seen more than 40 homicides since 2020. We asked people who live in this area what they'd ask IMPD about what they want out of the gunshot detection system. I really don't know. I mean, I don't know how the, this camera system is going to help them. If we're able to take information that directs us to a specific point and follow up with witnesses, knock on three doors instead of 50 doors. Only time will tell if the system is here to stay. The department says there are a few more hurdles to go through before a vendor is selected. They just need to patrol more. Because patience is running thin for people like Terry in an area that has seen its fair share of crime. Just seeing that a month ago, if I could move, I would move in a heartbeat right now. Working for you. It's scary. Adam Shumes, WRTV. IMPD says these systems are not a replacement for 911 calls. The department is asking people to call police if they hear gunshots or anything similar. IMPD says they are working with IUPUI to study the results of the program. A little more perspective tonight. Deadly crime in Indianapolis is actually lower than at this point last year. So far in 2022, there have been 162 homicides around Indy. At this time in 2021, there had already been 199 homicides.